Welcome to my little house, um, at least the front part of the house. So I've been talking to some of you about remodeling and I want to paint and I want to add tile and I want to add some um, tin roofing type of stuff. So what I want to do is take my, my slide out, which is kind of like a little nook. It's the seating area for the living room. Um, it's got my couch that turns into a bed and the table that turns into a bed that is currently Craftopia and always looks like that because there's always some sort of craft going on or some sort of paperwork and that's just the way life is in a trailer. Um, I want to take tin um, roofing and I want to put it up here and it is they it's super lightweight and it comes in sticky form but you could also use glue um and then i was going to put like blue velvet curtains up but um when you live in a trailer it gets really dusty because there's just you open your windows during the summer and just all the dust gets in and if you've ever had velvet anything um you know it likes to collect dust and so we're going to keep it like kind of a Celtic speakeasy type feel is what I'm going for. Um, possibly putting the tin tiling down the walls as well. There's really not that much of it and I don't know if I even want to try to get behind um, these balises that are up. I'm sure that I could take them down. We're going to try that. We're going to take a look at that come um, the warmer season because all of my winterization is up right now. So to basically just don't touch these windows. They're, they're off limits. But I'm going to put a different um, glass top on the sconce and paint the sconce because it's brass and I'm not the biggest fan of brass. The whole brass and glass thing was my, you know, teenage years. That's done and over with. I was going to buy a chandelier, but I remembered that I am uber crafty and technically I kind of already have a chandelier. Um, I'm going to buy LEDs for the inside here um, just because, you know, they just use less voltage anyway. But I'm going to paint the brass on this and then put sparkly things all around it because that's what you use sparkly things for. Um, I thought, you know, I've got all of these, like that one and then that one and then all of the ceiling. Let's just pan as fast as we possibly can and make everybody sick. I thought about um, doing something with those, but really I only turn them on, you know, when I'm cleaning and when I'm videotaping something at nighttime. Um, anyway, moving on, um, I want to do something with the wood. I'm not a big fan of like the wood look. I've never been a big fan of it. And if this is going to be my trailer for who knows how long, um, I want to um, paint. So I'm thinking about doing a whitewash with um, detail on the wood, kind of um, a chalk paint with a dark wax. Um, if you guys followed me at all previously, um, I did my, what's it called? My um, side table and my desk with that stuff. Um, all of this is going to go away. The It's like peeling right there, which means I to take it off. But it's staying up until I get to that. Um, so if I do a whitewash with these, I take all the hardware and I paint it black. So it um, contrasts with the wood, have a good, like maybe um, gray or black, or at least use the dark wax. If I use um, a, char a chalk paint, um, I think that would look good. I definitely am open for opinions. Um, I understand some people really like the look of wood, and I am just not one of those people. Um, I think... It needs to be bright in here for sure because I do only live in 32 feet of trailer with a foot of tow. Um, 
I am going to buy sticky tile. I've actually already chosen the sticky tile and it is dark. It is um, a dark gray and blue and black and it's a sticky tile for um, the backsplash. I would just want to do the whole entire, um, it's a mess. It's pretend like someone lives here because they do. Um, I want to do the whole entire area in here with the sticky tile. And I know that on video it could look like a lot, but if you own an Instapot, that's my Instapot. That's my microwave. That's how much space is in here. So that shows you what I'm working with. Um, and then do this wood. And um, I'm actually thinking about um, doing a stencil down this with a whitewash to give that some decoration and the tree eventually I'll take it down Dr. Hugh Christmas blah, blah, blah. yep um so that is my idea for the front room the front room is where I'm gonna start um and then I'm going to use the same tile in the bathroom and probably the same paint as well so it goes all the way through and there's a lot of wood in there as well with lights that I need to work on. It's just, it's also a mess and bathrooms get gross. Um, so we'll show you that next time. But I would love your guys' opinions. Like what, what do you think I should use? Um, what do you think about uh, me painting all of this wood? It's a lot of it. You could see that it's a lot of it. I mean, it goes all the way around. Like that will get painted. The door jam would have to get painted um this little blinky light is going to drive me absolutely insane so i need to buy some more of those um with these walls being light still um and me not having a plan to paint those i'm thinking maybe to um take this and paint it darker like um kind of like a darker not super dark, but like um, a dark gray or a dark blue. Um, probably not a dark gray. I seem to have a lot of dark gray things down there. Maybe white will work. Um, and of course, it's not going to be like eggshell white. It's going to be like an off-white, maybe even just like a very, very, very light gray. Um, because white would be gross. Um, that's too bright, too reflecty, too hurt my eyeballs. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you feel that it's a good idea or a bad idea and give me reasoning why. Don't just say you're dumb. Um, and everyone get mad at the blinky light. Stupid blinky light. Why are you being a blinky light? Stop blinking. Um, I don't know why it's doing that. They're LEDs. I'll figure that out. And um, just let me know. The like, ideas are absolutely appreciated and reasons to and reasons not to take this on in my little house is also appreciated. Um, I can't say that I'll actually take your advice and run with it, but it'll definitely be something that'll make me think. So yeah, um, that's, that's where I'm standing right now is um, kind of focused on making this more my home other than just putting curtains up. So. Thanks for watching and I look forward to what you guys have to say.